Battle Beetle Sports Projects. Hey everyone, it's Battle Beetle Channel. Recently I had a conversa conversation with you guys on Facebook and Instagram asking your ideas on our future stuff, our future videos. <coughs> and I was really happy that a lot of you guys requested striking into throws and striking into takedowns uh, strategies for combat sambo and MMA. So today we'll start this series of videos. Today I'll go over um, some strategies for striking into throws and in the next video I'll go over some stuff for striking into uh, double leg takedown. Okay, and then in the next future videos we'll continue that uh, topic over and over again. What I have to do first to obtain a grip on my opponent is to close the distance, of course, right? So, and I have to do it really fast, really, in, in a really explosive manner, in order to not get punched in the face because it's combat sambo or MMA, right? So, I have to be very explosive on my feet. My personal uh, go-to um, variation is to throw a, a one-two. It's really a fake one-two. I don't have to. I don't really have any bad intention behind those punches. So I go one, two, and at the end of the last punch, I'm not landing on his chin, right? But I end up on his sleeve. I go over his sleeve and I grab just behind his elbow, okay? And my other hand goes for whatever grip I'm com com comfortable with. Either uh, same side of the tail, opposite side of the tail, Color, that or that, or whatever you're comfortable with, with, right? So I go for any grip here. So now I'm I'm here in the in the in my favorite position, right? So I can go for a for a throw. So again, how I work in this position. I throw a fake one, two here. One, two. And at the end of the last punch, I'm not lining on his chin, but I'm finishing up on his elbow, right? So here's the tip. So I go here, boom. And grab the piece of the bell, collar, back, belt, whatever I'm talking about. So now I Relaxing him a little bit with punches, drives, and I go for the upper right. Very important point here. Before I start the combination to close the distance, I have to close the distance on my feet first. So I'm not starting here, the combination, right? Because he sees that my action is a mile away, right? So I go I close, I close the distance on my feet. And then when I feel I'm pretty close to him, I start the combination. One, two, and then I go. Right? Sometimes, sometimes I can I can do it um, only with a single punch, right? Which is a fake punch and ends up on uh, um, on his jacket, right? On his foot. So I go. It's very comfortable with the uh, top grip uh, and the collar. So I go. Boom. Sometimes I finish up here. So it's a grip and a punch at the same time. So I close the distance on my feet. I go from a secure grip here. Then now I can go for a throw, right? So in my case, I'm really happy with that. Because uh, I'm a righty as a striker and I'm a lefty as a grappler, so I don't have to switch stances. So I go one, two, and I work to the left side here, and I don't have to switch stances. But most of the fighters are righty in both aspects. So if you're righty in both aspects, uh, when you do uh, the last punch, so one, two. Uh, I end up not on the sleeve, but I end up on the opposite side grip. So, for example, on uh, lapel. So I go one, two, I end up on lapel, and I do a uh, step with the same leg at the same time. Boom, boom. It's a pure grip here. So I already switched my stances. Okay, again. If you're right in both, strike 
striking and threatening grappling. So you go one, two, two stances, and you secure your grip. Now, now you go from two. So these are the basic strategies for obtaining a grip after a striking combination, which is not a real combination in, in my cases. So I throw just a fake and go for the grip. Okay? If you'd like to watch more striking into throws or striking into takedowns uh, videos on our channel, please click the links that appear on your screen now. We had a really nice series of videos on that aspect before, if you haven't watched it. For business inquiries, sponsorship, and seminars, uh, use the email uh, in the des des description box below. Stay tuned, guys. We'll be back with our new stuff soon. Bye-bye.